Hello viewers, in this video we will see incomplete contract, under that we will see how to prepare a contract account and how to transfer the profit in this contract account. Before we go into the problem, we will see the format of incomplete contract account. Okay, in the debit side we have to write the materials, under materials we have material purchase, materials issued from stores, transfer from other contracts, that all will come into the debit side and two direct wages wages will be debited and plan purchase plan purchase for this contract will be debited and direct expenses any direct expenses to the contract will be debited and indirect expenses also debited and two profit or loss account profit on sale of material if there is any sale of material and if there is any profit that will come and profit on sale of plant also will be debited outstanding expenses and outstanding wages also debited and this notional profit is nothing but the balancing figure of this contract account and in the credit side we have materials here too this is material return to suppliers return to stores and transfer to other contracts okay next material sold material in hand this hand is nothing but material at the end after the contract the left out material at the end will appear here and plant return to stores for that depreciation is to be calculated till the date of return okay next plant sold if there is any sale of plant that will come in the credit side and profit or loss this is nothing but the material stolen destroyed plant stolen and destroyed will appear here and loss on sale of material if there is any loss on sale of the material or loss on sale of plant that also will be credited in the contract account and next plant in hand this is nothing but plant at the end for that depreciation is to be calculated okay and at last work in progress this work in progress consists of work certified and works uncertified okay once we did all this we have to find this notional profit this is the last step of this incomplete contract account and this notional profit is to be transferred to profit and loss account and work in progress. I hope you all know the criteria for transferring the profit to the profit and loss account because we saw that in our last video. Okay. And this is the transfer of notional profit uh, format. We have to credit the notional profit and debit profit and loss and work in progress. This is the balance of this account. Okay. Yes, we will see one problem. The contract ledger of a company showed the following expenditure on account of contract number 22 on 31-12-2004. Materials directly purchased 1,80,000. Materials issued from stores 50,000. Wages 2,44,000. Direct expenses 24,000. Plan purchase 1,60,000. Proportionate establishment charges 54,000. The contract was for rupees 15 lakh. Okay, this is the contract price and up to 31 12 2004 rupees 6 lakh had been received in cash okay this is the cash received which represents 80 percent of work certified okay this is 80 percent of work certified the material at site unconsumed were valued at rupees 15,000. this is the material at site at the end the contract plant was depreciated by 10 percentage per annum Okay, plan depreciation is 10 percentage. Prepare contract account showing what profits thereon have been earned to date. Okay, yes, let's start doing the problem. Okay, yes, first we have to write the material purchase directly 180,000. I'll write it in the debit side and next material issued from stores. We have to write that and wages we have to debit. Okay, direct expenses also we have to write it in the debit side and plant purchase. Okay, plant purchase we have 160,000 that we have to write it in the debit side. Proportionate establishment charges this to be debited. Okay, the contract was for rupees 15 lakh and up to 31, 12, 2004, 6 lakh had been received in cash which represent 80 percent. Okay, this is 80 percent of work certified. This cash received 6 lakh is. Okay, we have to find out what is the 100 percentage of this. Okay, before that we will write the material at site. Okay, we have to write the material at site 15,000 and uh, 
now we have to calculate the plant at the end the contract plant was depreciated by 10% per annum okay so we have to find out the value of plant at the end okay plant in hand this minus depreciation we have to do okay 160000 into 10 percentage will get 16000 okay and in outer column we'll write 144000 if we want to write the plant purchase in the debit side we have to find the plant value at the end by subtracting this depreciation. This is one method of dealing with this plant. And the other way is we have to write this depreciation alone in the debit side. Okay. We should not write this plant purchase. We should not write the plant in end. Okay. We have to just write the depreciation in the debit side. Both the ways we can do the same answer only we will get in both the ways. Okay, and the next one is work in progress. We have work certified 80% of cash received. So we have to find out the 100 percentage of this. So 6 lakh into 100 divided by 80 will get 7 lakh 50,000. And we don't have works uncertified in this problem. So we'll put nil. So in outer column, we'll write 7 lakh 50,000. Okay, now we have to balance this. Okay, total is 9 lakh 9,000. And we have to find the balance C figure that is an erosional profit. Yes, it is 1,97,000. Okay, if this balance appears in the credit side, it is treated as notional loss. Okay, if it is in the debit side, it is treated as notional profit. And this profit is to be transferred to profit and loss and reserve. We will see the basis for that. Before that, you take a note of this notional profit. Work certified. Work certified is 7,50,000. And contract price okay yes i have written the notional profit 197 work certified 750 and contract price is 15 lakh okay now we have to find out the percentage of work certified on contract price okay the percentage of work certified on contract price is 50 percent okay this falls under the third category since it is 50 percent two third of the notional profit is transferred to pnl account so pnl account equal to notional profit into 2 by 3 into cash received divided by work certified. Okay. If we substitute in the formula, we will get 1,5067. This to be transferred to profit and loss account. Yes, I have written it. Okay. And the balancing figure is reserve. Okay. Work in progress. Reserve. Okay. This is 91,933. This is the balancing figure. Okay. I hope now you are clear to find this notional profit and to transfer the same to profit and loss account and re reserve. I have given you a small problem for you to practice. Thank you for your patient listening.